my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I'm standing here before you to give a message on Christmas and New Year. Close your eyes for a moment so that you may listen these words carefully, diligently. Lord Jesus, I thank you and praise you for the listeners of this episode, this video. I am giving a message, enable them to understand, comprehend the meaning of it and put into practice in their life. Holy Spirit, Lord, come. Mary, Mama, good mother, you who gave birth to Jesus, the Son of God, be here to pray for all those who listen to this message. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When I go to the events in Jerusalem, as it is written in the Gospel, what touched me are two passages. One is Luke chapter 2, verse 15 and 16. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. They went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. We see the shepherds who received a message of the birth of the Son of God with the great joy went to Bethlehem and found Jesus and the parents in a manger, a home. The manger was the home. In Matthew chapter 2, we read, chapter 1, uh, uh, we read, uh, chapter 2, we read how the Magi met the Holy Family. Chapter 2, verse 11. And entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. Again, we see a family. Yes, we know family is very important for a nation and also for the church. Family is the foundation of the whole world. And we see today the greatest war on earth is not on terrorism, not on covid not the war in Ukraine, but war on families. We know families are broken. God created mankind as families. We read in Genesis chapter 1, 26 and 27, God made man male and female and blessed them and told them increase and multiply. A family was formed. And that family was in paradise. Paradise is a place where they were having communication with God. They had experience of God. They had no sickness, and no anxiety, no worry, fear, uh, full of happiness and joy. And that was lost by their disobedience, lost by sin. And we know before the coming of Christ, the mankind was laden under sin, the burden of sin. They were not free. And Jesus came to restore the paradise, that is, family. God wanted mankind to live as families, and he, want to, he wants to save mankind as families. We know during the time of Noah, people were in sin. After the sin of Adam and Eve, sin increased in the world. We read in Genesis chapter 6, but God found a man who was righteous before God. That is Noah. When he decided to destroy the world by a deluge, by a great flood, he saved Noah and the family. See, again we see in Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, they were in sin. Sin of immorality, particularly homosexuality, as it is today in the world. And God decided to destroy these two prosperous cities. But he saved a family 
that lived in holiness, in righteousness, the family of Lot. So, my dear brothers and sisters, the Lord is concerned about family. Jesus was born in a family. He could have been born directly from heaven. He could come down and save. But he willed that he must be born in a family because he assumed he took the flesh of mankind. And if you look at the manger, what the impression I get is the Lord today is giving a message to the families. Today we see more than half of the marriages are ending up in divorces. Recently I was giving a retreat on families and many people wrote to me. The broken families wrote to me many, many reasons of the breaking up of their marriages. And we know there are a lot of threats, challenges for the families today. Till recently, families were consisted of a man and woman. Today, a family, a home, is of men alone or women alone. That means man marries man, woman marries woman. So even in the mind of small children, the concept of marriage is changed. And we know uh, leaders of the world, presidents, prime ministers are passing bills in the governments, in the parliaments, uh, to uh, allow people to have these what are homosexual marriages, or gay marriages called. It's a big threat for the real, authentic family founded by Christ, or founded by God. Family is actually embedded in the heart of a man and woman. We know a small child will be trying to pray as a family, as a mother or father at home when playing in the mud or in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, with the other children, uh, pretending as a, child, as a father or mother and then praying. It is something in the heart. Also, when the child grows up, attraction towards the opposite sex is normal and natural. Today, it's all vanishing. Today, we say topsy turvy And we say kind of, uh, what you call, uh, chaos. Like the time when God created the world. Or a chaotic life which was existing. A time where people lived in darkness, breaking the commandments of God before Christ Jesus. But Jesus Christ came to give a new, new, new dimension to personal life, a new dimension to the family life. We know good citizens are formed in a family by the love of father and mother. If you look at the family, the holy family of Joseph and Mary, we read in the Holy Bible, Matthew chapter 119, Joseph decided to divorce his wife. Don't forget, the word is decided because he found his wife pregnant. Today, for silly small reasons how people decide to divorce like Joseph. But he was an honest man, a just man. He wanted to do it informally without making it public. He did not want a court divorce, in other words. And then he heard the voice of God. Yes, my dear parents, my dear husbands and wives, my dear leaders of the family, uh, when you united yourself in married life, the Lord told, you are no more two but one. And that voice should be in your heart always. And when you forget that word of God, when you lose the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, put in your heart the marriage breaks. And Joseph, honest man, holy man, prayerful man, he heard the word of God and he accepted his wife. Yes, my dear husbands, my dear wives, if you really are honest, if you are really in faith and loving God and loving neighbor, you will never think of a divorce. We need a society freed of divorce. And also a society devoid of homosexual marriages or uh, the gay marriages, so-called. Yes, we must come back to the original plan of God. 
marriage is between man and woman or woman and man not man and man not woman and woman also today in the world many people live together as concubines no marriage no court marriage no church marriage you must know the word of god is very clear genesis chapter 127 god blessed them god should bless a marriage god should bless a family and then with that blessing the family should live live together as one yes for that there should be family prayer husband and wife parents and children praying together then the holy spirit will be there and that family will be a happy family and then we can call it paradise yes jesus came to this earth to restore paradise to give us back paradise that paradise is family look at the world today lot of brokenness in the world war thirst of war and lot of other problem political problems uh, neighbors fighting each other neighboring countries and also not sharing wealth the gap between the rich and the poor increasing and what is the solution solution is in families good families so i pray that this time of christmas and as we are going to step into a new year 2023 let's think of renewing our family life that is my message for you let's stop this great threat towards tiny children in the mother's womb yes just imagine when joseph knew mary was pregnant he could simply think of an abortion a good man righteous man never thought of that neither mary because she was full of grace people who live in grace can never think of an abortion and we need a society a family freed from abortion and today we see many leaders of the world presidents and prime ministers and kings i like herod or like pharaoh when moses was born pharaoh wanted to kill all the children so also when jesus was born herod wanted to kill the infants today this is what is happening you know the story of saint john paul ii when emilia his mother uh, had in, was informed by the doctor that the child had to be aborted because the mother was in danger she had to make a decision either she had to live or the child and she decided for the child we know uh, recently we never had a great personality like john paul ii and perhaps the children whom we are aborting and killing are an expected saint a would be saint a would be president a would be leader uh, and we are killing them mercilessly we must stop it my dear brothers and sisters in christ yes i call you friends with much love with much grief in the heart about today's families i give you this christmas message yes i am sure you'll be decorating cribs as pope francis said every home there should be a crib good but looking at that crib make sure that your home is like that crib where we see the love between husband and wife love between children and parents and also today people don't want old people so nations are planning for euthanasia and many countries even have passed bills for euthanasia killing the old people old people are unwanted so also people who are marginalized are uh, people who are disabled like me and the world wants to get it off and looking for a world without weak people but we should know when we do that we are bringing curses upon our families very clearly we read in the third chapter of the book of sirach uh, take care of your parents in their old age don't forget the love they have shown to you and the curse of a mother or the tear of a mother or the curse of a father will uproot the family this is what happens in euthanasia 
My dear brothers and sisters, I'm giving only a short message. And let's have a new year with this new decision. Yes, I'm not going to give many Bible passages about all this. From my heart, with much love, I tell my dear parents, my dear young people, young couples, and my dear youngsters who want to get married, teenagers and youth, Make a decision to step into new year with the hope of a new world from Jerusalem. I say, a new world order from Jerusalem. Yes, let the clip remind all of us of having a family in peace, in joy, in communion with God, communion with one another, and living according to God's will. Then the family is restored to its original state as God wanted. A paradise restored. Yes, may it happen in the new year. Yeah, first in your mind, then put into practice. Uh, let us make a decision. We want a new country, a new world, uh, a new continent without divorce and without gay marriages and without shedding the innocent blood of the infants. And then you can experience great blessings in the new year. So I'm here wishing all of you a happy Christmas and a prosperous new year 2023. May the abundant blessings of Jesus Christ, who came to give us several blessings to liberate us from the slavery of sin and Satan, uh, now liberate all the families from the wicked Satan that comes to destroy and divide. We can see, as Jesus himself said, the Satan comes to divide, to destroy, and that spirit of divorce, and spirit of separation, separation from God, separation from one another, separation from husband and wife, is working. Be on alert, and open your heart to the Holy Spirit that is love, as St. Paul says, to the Holy Spirit, love is poured in your heart. I pray that during this Christmas time and New Year, uh, let the blessing of the Holy Spirit come to each one of you and your family. And thus your life and the family life be restored to peace, joy, prosperity. Yes, I pray for that. And I wish all of you uh, both a Happy New Year and as well the Christmas. And I pray for all of you. I promise on a midnight mass on Christmas and also the year ending and New Year, I'll be offering those masses for your intentions, for your families. Many of you are in close connection with me. You are my friends. Yes, you are my benefactors, and you have attended my programs online and directly. All of you are my children. So it is with the sentiments of love I pray for you in my Holy Mass and wish all these blessings, richest blessings on you for Christmas and New Year. Close your eyes. Lord Jesus, thank you and praise you for the listeners of this short message. May it penetrate their hearts so that they may avoid these war on family where children are killed, where husband and wife separated, where husband are living in immorality, where people like living like in Sodom and Gomorrah. I pray that through the power of your Holy Spirit, a new world may emerge, a new world order may emerge where there is more peace, more joy, more prosperity. I bring all these families and individuals in the families uh, to a second crib where I see Mary, Joseph and Jesus lying. I bring all these people like the Magi, the three kings who came to worship. And I bring like the shepherds who came singing Hosanna, or praises to Lord Jesus Christ in the manger. I 
Keep you in the heart of Jesus through the Immaculate Heart of Mary and bless you all and bless your families in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We'll see you again in the New Year with joy and happiness. Subscribe the uh, channel if you have not done it. God bless you. Hallelujah.